November 3, 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord Salvation comes to Zacchaeus. The Jews in Jesus' time were burdened by state and religious taxes. State taxes were paid to Rome. Herodian rulers imposed direct taxes on land properties and individuals. Moreover, Indirect taxes were imposed on transit trade and market exchange. On the other hand, religious taxes were paid to the Jerusalem temple, head and land taxes for the support of the priest, and taxes for sacrificial offerings and vows. As ruler of the province of Judea, the Roman governor Pontius Pilate probably sold rights to collect taxes to brokers, these offered fixed amount, contracted partners, and hired laborers to help with the collections. Taxes were usually overpriced for the brokers to recover their capital and have profits. Zacchaeus had bought the right to collect taxes in Jericho and was successful in his business, thus becoming a wealthy man. The heavy taxes were great burden to the people and the brokers could be looked upon as robbers and thieves due to feelings of perceptions of injustice. In the gospel, people are shown to avoid Zacchaeus. They also condemn Jesus for staying at the house of a sinner. Jesus answers that he has come to seek and to save what was lost, affirming that Zacchaeus is also a descendant of Abraham and worthy of being sought. Jesus neither condemns nor ostracizes him, but loves him and sits down to a meal with him. Jesus' ministry is a healing one, and it is directed at those who are honest enough to accept that they need help. Jesus' treatment of him cuts Zacchaeus to the heart. At first, he's probably just curious about this teacher from Nazareth, whose fame has spread far and wide. Then Jesus invites himself to Zacchaeus' house and table making something like a covenant of friendship with him. Jesus even defends him from those who condemn him. Greatly moved and thankful, Zacchaeus has a change of heart and decides to make restitutions. 